going everyone welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be doing another restaurant review video right behind me it's a new and the only revolving sushi style restaurant I found in Massachusetts it's located in Watertown I'm gonna put the address of this restaurant right in the description I haven't been to a revolving sushi restaurant since I left Hong Kong which is a long time ago so definitely it's a good way for me to test out to see how's the revolving sushi style restaurant is in the US I'll see you guys when I get in there there's actually a machine right outside here for you to sign in and it tells you the estimate wait time which right now there is no wait That's pretty cool. So you order the drink right on the machine right here, and then they deliver it with this Autobot. <laughs> this is where you dump the empty plate after you finish. You just lift this cover and you can grab whatever you want. Every plate, no matter what, it's $3.65 each, which is, I guess, a decent price. On the belt, it doesn't only have sushi. It also has like dessert, food. And if you don't see what you want on the belt, you just gotta order it right on this touchpad, and they will send it right from here on this top belt which is pretty cool they're real crappy uh -uh, so you just lift it like that pretty cool also they give you the real wasabi which is nice I like this kind way more than the regular ones they give you in those like Japanese restaurants right now I'm gonna order some salmon toro and I think it's gonna just be sent on this belt. I've got to say the revolving style is basically the same that you will find in Japan and Hong Kong. Of course, the main thing is to see if the sushi is good. This is the real crab meat sushi. It's very good. The crab is very fresh, tasty. Now I'm gonna try this salmon belly. They call it salmon toro. Usually it's the fattest. The quality is very well. I love it. It's very good. This is actually a scallop, like a thin sliced scallop on top with mayo and they burnt the top. Which is actually very common in sushi restaurants in Hong Kong and China or Japan, but I rarely see it here. You can really taste the mayo and the scallop is fresh and soft. I would say the quality is equivalent to like the standard revolving sushi restaurants in Asia. This is actually something that I have not seen. It's tuna with, I don't even know what this yellow piece is, but I'm gonna try it out. Crunch up tuna with like a piece of miso on the side so it adds like that extra taste. This is Toro. This is actually my favorite sushi, the Toro, the tuna belly. Very oily and fat, honestly. Wow, this is very good. It's like very fat and oily, plus it tastes like jelly. The second it goes into your mouth, it really melts in your mouth. I have to grab this, the seared salmon Japanese mayo. As I said, whatever sushi, they add the mayo plus the burnt effect on it, I like a lot, because you rarely see it in the US. Now we have all kinds of roll coming out. It makes a sound whenever there's something coming. Ooh, we ordered some salmon sashimi at a king. Let's try out their sashimi. It is very thin though, I gotta say. Honestly, I would say definitely get the sushi. The sashimi doesn't really taste very good. It tastes better when it's on the actual sushi rice. The thing I gotta say though, the sushi rice, it breaks too easily. The second you clam it up, it's like all squished up. That sweet shrimp was pretty good. I'm not sure if I can review every single dish they offer because there's a lot of different kinds. But now I got the eel. I can see the oil on top of the eel. It looks very good. The sauce they put on the eel is very good. It's like the actual ones, like the Japanese ones, unlike the ones you get from like a supermarket. I guess when you drop these plates down there, it sends how many plates you're eating. Like us right now, we ate 16 plates. And they dropped down this ball. I think it's like a little gift. It also played a little animate on the screen, which I didn't catch, but let's see what's in here. 
Let's see what's in here. Demon Slayer little pin. Oh, I didn't even realize it's right there. So I guess it's all the pin that you might get. I'm surprised the amount of uni they put on the uni sushi, but of course, mainly we gotta see if it tastes good. The uni is definitely not fresh. You can taste it from eating it. If it doesn't have that watery taste, you could taste yeah. the ocean seafood taste, but it's not as fresh as the ones that they sell up elsewhere. I'm going to end my meal with the Hokkaido creamy tart. It looks like a creme brulee inside with a crispy burnt top. It's literally a cold version of creme brulee inside a tart. I wish they add more cream. Look at how thin that is. And that's a lot of tart. Honestly, this restaurant's pretty cool because mostly you just self-service. We ate 35 plates today. You can check out right on here. It also reminds you are all the plates inserted in the slot. I guess if not, you're not paying for it. Today's bill come to a total of 130 US dollar. That's for three people. I guess the price is actually pretty good, not bad. Feel free to comment down below and let me know how you feel about this restaurant. I personally liked it because it reminds me of the sushi restaurant style in Asia. Revolving sushi is very popular in Japan, but I rarely find one here. So I'm glad I came here to try. I've got to say some dishes are nice and some dishes are not as nice, but that's with everything every restaurant, you know? I hope this video will help you guys to learn more about revolving sushi style restaurants. And if you guys want to try it out, as I said, the address of this restaurant, Kura, is right in the description of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. More food video coming soon. Peace.